Hey everyone, Draco Magnius here for another episode of Let's Play Nino Kuni Mini Games. We're here once again at the Solosseum to participate in the Solosseum series. Rank A! Before we get started, I'd like to mention that I've already recorded this video. And for some reason I can't explain, my uh, program here... Roxio Game Capture HD Pro uh, lost signal with the capture card when we were near the final round. And I didn't realize till after I had already beaten it. So I went back in my save file and we have to do this all over again. Fun! Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Rank A has four rounds, unlike any of the other previous. Since I've technically already done this as I've let you all know in uh, the main series the people that are going to be participating are highlighted that's not the case for rank s because i've never done rank s it, like with everything if i haven't beaten a rank you don't get to see it and when you get that rank unlocked you can't see it but since we've battled already well now i'm just rambling thank you for the unnecessary heal umbopa i do appreciate it because i don't know if i actually it needed MP or not. I want to try and save my MP, but in the first attempt of recording this, I was able to beat Rash... Well, I mean, you already saw everyone that was in there. Yes, Rashad is the final boss for this rank. But uh, I managed to beat him with only having 75 MP, so I'm hoping I can do it again. Anyway, <clears throat> the Pig Iron Duke. We are the three little pigs. And before you ask, no, we're not THE three little pigs. They were real pigs. We merely wear pig-themed armor every day. That's not weird or anything. Hey man, you do you. You want to dress up like pigs. I'm not going to question it. See, I feel like this is a missed opportunity, though. They have Rabot and two of its evolutionary forms. Why wouldn't they have Hog Goblins in its evolutionary forms? Or the uh, Crashing Boar? And its evolutionary forms are Hoggle Boggle. Those are three different familiars with Hog in their name, and Hogs and Pigs are close. Yet, no, they, they just have rabbits. Weird. Anyway. Start with a wind tunnel. And now punch him. Yeah, got it nixed. Heck yeah. Now I'm just going to punch it till it stops moving. Oh, or you could use Thunderstorm. I'm okay with that, too. Does a lot of damage, and uh, we need it. I, I need that MP. No, I needed that. It's fine, I guess. I mean, you probably needed it, too. You did just cast Thunderstorm. I'd like, like I said, I'd like to conserve my MP, but I will use it if necessary. You win! Ho oh, ho, there's nothing like a mask for hiding one's blushes after a shameful defeat. But you just told me you were blushing, so that kind of ruins the entire thing. Well, goodbye. We shall be your next opponents. Round two, the Xanadu Gooders. I see you're admiring our wings. We made them ourselves, as it happens. They're our tribute to Xanadu and the dream of flight. Nice, aren't they? Yeah, I guess so. Their theme are familiars from Nazca. I mean, technically the Big Daddy isn't from Nazca. It's first form the Fuddy Daddy is. But it's on the only exception really here. Um, the only one with a weakness is the Big Daddy with his weakness to water. So come on out to Korit. Um, I'm also going to start off with Smoke Bomb, just, you know, to give us an advantage. Oh, well, we only got it on the Big Daddy. Actually, no, I realized something. Relics, healer. I'll deal with the Big Daddy later. Relics need to go down first. Is he just going to keep healing him? Oh, good, I managed to mix him, too, so no one's getting heals. Technically, I don't have to kill it, but I'm going to kill it anyway. 
There we go. Give me this. Hmm, do I want to... Nah, I should just stick to punching. Make sure I have as much MP as possible for the last fight. I could send out Sir Corrit, but, you know, punching it to death is a lot easier. I'll send him out once uh, Yoshi runs out of stamina. Oh no. Two whole damage done to poor Yoshi. Whatever shall I do? Snow blower. And... Where did that heal come from? Nightingale. I didn't know you could heal. Well, now you gotta die for it. I love doing that so much. You win! Hmm. It seems we're not quite ready to soar just yet. Where are we? Bellicosian Brigadier of the Bellicosian Brigade. We are soldiers of Bellicosia, boy. Do you mean to challenge us? Well, if it's a fight you want, a fight you shall have. I warn you, though, we will show no mercy! If you remember correctly, the Bellicosians were... I think Shadar was a Bellicosian. I'm pretty sure he was part of their army, as we saw in the flashback. We saw people with this armor and those particular staves. So, I don't know how they got here. Bellicosi has probably been destroyed long ago. Unless someone breached time to bring them here. Hmm. Anyway, Bellicosian Brigade. I think the only one with weakness is the Godforsaken with a weakness to light, but I'm going to check on Grim Paler really quick. Oh, wait, and that's not true. Smoggy Fug is weak to Storm. So let me... Let's see, you would be Demona, correct? Yeah. Jump the gun a little bit there. Let's see, light. Grim Paler is weak to Storm and Water. Okay, so we got two things weak to Storm. It'd be better to exploit the Storm weakness they have. Here goes. Wind Tunnel. Yeah, got them both. Oh, no, I'm poisoned! Oh, God, not foul breath. Well, we all suffered from it, so this is going to be a bit of a longer fight now. Oh, man, I am significantly weak now. I might lose. Okay, at least now he can't cast anymore. That's going to... Make it so his debuff eventually wears out. Come on. Fall down. There. Now back to me. I'm going to cast Astra because Gobforsaken is weak to it. And it'll do a lot of damage besides. Hopefully hedging our bets here. There. No bad spell for you. Okay, I actually have a little more mana than I did last time I did this fight with Rashad that's coming up next, so... In theory... In theory, it should go fine, knock on wood, hedging my bets here. Hmm. Such formidable fighting. What could this place be? What, you didn't have arenas in your time? You've done well to come this far. Final round, Great Sage Rashad. <laughs> you seem surprised to see me. It was Solomon who asked me to be your next opponent. It was also Solomon who provided me with these creatures. With their aid, I will see if you have what it takes to become a sage. These familiars look, well, familiar. That's because they're some of the final forms of the three familiars that we could have chosen when Solomon gave us the offer. Get rid of Honky Tonker first. It has Love Struck, which is a AoE confusion move that will make your life a living hell. 
It needs to die. It needs to die now. Or cry first, just to get a buff, and then I'm gonna beat the living tar out of it so it cannot do anything. The greater nade can heal, and your instinct might be get rid of the healer first, but Honky Tonker's gonna make this battle near impossible. So if you have mixed gnashes on anything, attack that with that. If you have a big damage dealer like I do, have it punch it until it cannot move anymore. I'm getting lucky because it's not actually used Love Struck at all yet, which is helping me greatly. Come on. Down, Honky Tonker. No one wants to see your stupid Love Struck ability. It usually uses it if it doesn't have someone actively attacking it. But since I occupied it, it had to focus on me. All right, this, the rest of this fight is cake. Greater Nade is only really good at magical attacks and healing. So it's the next biggest threat you don't want at healing Hoggle Boggle. I don't know what Rise and Shine is expected to do there because no one's asleep. And uh, the Hoggle Boggle over there only seems to have thunder moves. Well, Yoshi, your time to shine. I'm a little upset I'm not using as much magic, but that's fine. I'm saving it. Okay, come on, Greater Nade. Go down. Fall down. Seriously, I have no idea why you were casting Rise and Shine there. But, time to use this magic I've been pooling. Victory. And it's so satisfying, you have no idea. Even though this is technically the second time I've beaten them. This gave me a lot of trouble when I did my original recording that I decided to scrap because we failed. That was at level 70, I believe. It gladdens me to see how powerful you've become. As predicted, the difficulties you have overcome have only served to make you stronger. Indeed they have. Because, like I said, I tried originally going for the Greater Nade. Because, you know, you want to get rid of the healer first, normally. But if you don't focus that Honky Tonker, it goes, Oh, you don't want to focus on me? Well, then let me confuse all of your allies to attack you at once. Or confuse you. So you can attack your allies. Wouldn't that be fun? troll lo 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 You have one rank A. Impressive. Here is your prize. A heart of Muse and 20,000 Guilders. Good luck in the next rank. I want to touch on the item we just got. In fact, it's in our specials here. A gem that enables one to commune with all living things. It can be used to enhance the heart winning harp. Now, this is a very special item. We're going to take it to the old alchemist that lives in the cave near Alma Moon, and he's going to give us a new recipe for showing this to him, which is going to give Esther a new weapon, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure. But that is what the Heart of Muse is for. Heart of the Muse is for, rather. Anyway, with that all said and done, we're going to end this mini game here. See you guys in the next one.